Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Grid. Now in this tutorial, we are going to be showing you how to create, actually not how to create, but how to import a 3D object into After Effects using Video Copilot Element. Now Video Copilot just put out a new plugin called Video Copilot Element and it's update 1.5. And on the 1.5 update, you can actually import 3D objects or 3D OBJ objects and make them into a sequence to where they will be animated. But you have to have a 3D program, that's why I'm using 3ds Max. 3ds Max is awesome! And you can actually get a free version of it for free if you're a student. <laughs> and uh, that's how most people do it. Alright, but we have this waving flag, which is awesome, but first, you should go to Tutorial Grid YouTube and you should subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, that'll be up in one of your corners. Also, go to the Avid Productions Facebook page, facebook.com slash Avid Productions, and our Tutorial Grid page, Tutorial Grid slash, or facebook.com slash Tutorial Grid. But now for the awesome stuff. All right, so we have this 3D flag and it's waving. We did this in an earlier tutorial. The tutorial will be in the description or up here somewhere on the page. I guarantee it. All right. But in this tutorial, we would be doing this waving flag and we'll be importing it into After Effects. It will be awesome. It will be awesome. All right, but first, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to import this script that you're going to have to have to be able to export this correctly. Uh, so in Max Script, you're going to hit New Script and you're going to copy and paste this code that should be in the description or I will actually give you the OBJ download, which I'll also give you a place to uh, download that. Um, so if you have the download, I will show you how to use that. But if you don't, this will be in the description. I'll just copy and paste that, which should be in the description. All right. So you'll copy and paste that, and it will show you how to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to run script. We're going to run our OBJ exporter script, and you will hit open. Okay, cool. But first, what I want to make sure that you know how to do, or what you need to do first, is you're going to want to select both your objects, okay? Now, if you're wanting to have, uh, t like with this flag, we have it animated. Uh, now we have a front side and a back side. Now, in our material list, hit M. If you have a flag or if you're doing the flag tutorial, uh, hit M. And whenever you export this, it's not going to have a, a, t a thing on the back. It's not going to have any type of two-sided material. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to click over uh, one of our materials over here and we'll just put that on top of it and we'll actually hit this button that says two-sided and that will bring our material on to the other side also it will also allow us to uh, put two materials on it in After Effects so uh, go ahead and bring another use a separate material except for this one uh, since we already put that on the flag use a separate material and put that onto the other side of the flag. That is very important if you want to use two materials. If not, export it this way. All right, so before we run our script, you're going to want to select all the objects that you want to export. Then we are going to go up into Max Script and Run Script. We're going to run our OBG exporter, OBJ exporter, hit Open. We'll go to, and we'll select open here. All right, and we will select, uh, we will name our flag, flag OBJ. Yeah, we'll just do flag OBJ, or name it whatever you want. Um, and we'll select the file we want to go to and save. Now, the next step is to hit this little button that says export. So we'll export our scene or the two objects that we want. Now notice it's exporting a bunch of triangles. You always want it to be exporting triangles and notice it also has two materials. That is good. That means we're going to be able to export two materials and materialize it in After Effects. And move that over and do Scene Setup. Click Scene Setup. All right, now this is Video Copilot Element. And this is how we're going to uh, import all our 3D materials for. And we're going to go to File, Import 3D Sequence. And we already have our 3D sequence set up right here. Find the file and uh, import it. And we're going to hit the first OBJ of the sequence. So o flag OBJ 0.obj. So go ahead and open that. And that opens up our flag. We have the flag. 
We have the flag, the flag. We have the flag. All right, fantastic. All right, now we have a bunch of stuff we can do. Uh, we can make this chrome where it looks pretty cool. Yep, that looks pretty cool. But I don't want to do both of them chrome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do find which one is which. So this is the flag. I want my flag post to be this dirty, nasty metal. Let's do metal grunge. I'm going to make that metal grunge the flagpole. And then I'm going to go to fabric. And what would be cool? Oh, yeah, a nice camo flag. You know, everybody loves the army, right? No, I don't want to do the army. Let's do this red velvet. That'll be fun. Nice red velvety looking flag. All right, now remember when I told you that um, your flag wasn't going to be two sided and we have this uh, kind of odd thing going on. So whenever the flag moves, you're going to have this weird look because we don't have a two side. Since we selected two sides, we can now go down into our. All right, we're actually going to select our flag layer. Now remember, this has a transparent layer on it. But we're going to select draw back faces and that will put our texture onto the back. So now we have this uh, simple looking little flag and that's what we were looking for. But this is strictly just for tutorial purposes. We can make it look a lot better in 3DS, but this is just how to import a 3D moving object. All right, so we're going to hit OK. Now we have our flag. So. I kind of have this set up a little weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a camera. So go to layer, new camera. And that's usually how I set it up. Uh, you can set it up however you want to. I have mine set up to zoom for 100. That way I have less uh, lens aberration. So I'm going to hit that. And I'm going to move or orbit my camera to where I can see the flag. So now I can see my flag. Now, if you hit spacebar, can watch the flag wave it's waving at you you can see it and it's in After Effects and it's all completely 3d you have a completely rendered 3d object in After Effects moving it's amazing what this plugin can do <sighs> but after that uh, you also need in 3d you need to make it about as long as you're wanting to make it uh, because after that you can either do make it to where it'll repeat itself in kind of like a linear motion that way it keeps repeating itself over and over and over or uh, you can just make it really long to where you can have the animation be as long as you want but we have our animating flag and you can add depth of field to this and it goes in real time depth of field so I'm gonna actually go, just go ahead and show you how to do that I'm gonna go ahead and move this in we're gonna have that really close to the lens and we're just going to go ahead and turn on transform camera options and depth of field on it's going to turn our depth of field aperture I always put mine at 100 not 10 but 100 then focus distance I'm going to put mine at 200 and notice it's focusing on the flag so whenever I play it back you have the depth of field well it's not really focusing on the flag is it I don't know, 250 and 275. Yeah, I think 250 was good. Yeah, that's better. But you have depth of field in real time, which is awesome. The closer that gets to the camera, the more fuzzy it gets. But if you have a lot of background stuff, it looks a lot better because it actually looks like it's going towards the camera and looks awesome. But that is the easiest way that I know of how to import this into After Effects. So again, my name's Cherokee. And remember to subscribe to us on Facebook, facebook.com slash tutorial grid, facebook.com slash After Productions, and YouTube. Subscribe to YouTube. You do the YouTube subscription thing because it is awesome because we do awesome things here. At least I think I do. I hope you think I do too. But anyway, I'm Cherokee again. You guys have a good one and keep creating. Keep doing it. All right, see you guys later.